Tonight, the Boston Public Library honored the internationally acclaimed screenwriter Ruth Prower Javala with the library's first annual Epstein Film Writing Awards. Javala is best known for her work on the movies Room with a View and The Bostonians. Julius Epstein, one of the men for whom the award is named, also attended the award ceremony and applauded the idea of recognizing screenwriters. Epstein knows all too well what it's like to write unforgettable dialogue for others and still go virtually unnoticed. He is one of the two brothers who co-wrote the movie Casablanca. Marcus Jones tells his story. Play it once, Sam, for all time's sake. I don't know what you mean, Miss Elsa. Play it, Sam. Play as time goes by. You must remember this. When Casablanca premiered 47 years ago, no one ever dreamed it would still be playing today. But it is. On television, on videotape, and in movie house film festivals, Casablanca lives on. Inviting generation after generation to marvel at the beauty of Ingrid Bergman and the snappy repartee of Humphrey Bogart. What is your nationality? I'm a drunkard. <laughs> Bogart and Bergman are the people movie audiences remember when they think of Casablanca, but it was Julius Epstein, along with his twin brother Philip and Howard Koch, who wrote the words that made the movie memorable. Uh, I, think was, I think we were very lucky. I think it was like taking a jigsaw puzzle, throwing all the pieces into the air, and when it came down, it would all fit. Tonight, the Boston Public Library begins a tradition honoring outstanding screenwriters with an award named in recognition of the Epstein brothers. But Julius, now 79 years old, is modest about his work. His last big picture, Reuben Reuben, was produced in 1983. He also worked on Arsenic and Old Lace, Born Yesterday, and Yankee Doodle Dandy. But Epstein's most famous work, the one which earned him an Academy Award for Best Screenplay in 1943, doesn't even rate among his top five favorites. Not really a very good picture, but good romantic fun. So you can't apply great to that. Kiss me. Kiss me as if it were the last time. Whether it's Epstein's favorite or not, Casablanca is a film classic, complete with interesting characters and interesting dialogue much of which was written while the film was in production. How can he close me up? On what ground? I'm shocked, shocked to find that gambling is going on in here. You're winning, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Everybody out at once. We started to shoot before we had a complete script. And then when we got to about between two, between a half and two thirds, we realized we hadn't, we didn't know what the ending was. So then we were writing scenes and rushing down to the set <laughs> giving it to him in long hand. <laughs> and it, then he couldn't read our handwriting. <laughs> Inside of us, we both know you belong with Victor. You're part of his work, the thing that keeps him going. If that plane leaves the ground and you're not with him, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. We Would you say Paris. you're we a romantic? You came to Casablanca. Absolutely not. Backwards. I like to think of myself as a, a romantic cynic. <laughs> I don't like sentiment in pictures. I find that hard to believe. I'm just, you know, thinking of that famous airport scene. I was scene. paid to do it. <laughs> if imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, Epstein has been flattered a lot, especially on television and in other films. If that plane leaves the ground and you're not on it with him, you'll regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. Beautiful. It's from Casablanca. I waited my whole life to say it. So many incredible lines that people remember today and mm -hmm. spoof today and that sort of thing. How does that make you feel when you hear? Uh, it's not a bad feeling. <laughs> it's not a bad feeling. Round up the usual suspects. We might have to get them. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks into mine. I don't know what's right any longer. You have to think for both of us. I came to Casablanca for the waters. The waters? What waters? We're in the desert. I was misinformed. Here's looking at you, kid. Louis, I think.
think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones. And that's our news. I'm Christopher Lydon. Good night.